work my way down, okay? Okay. Hold on real quick. I think I'm gonna put some light. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right up here you have your transverse jugular. That's the lo approximate location of your hyoid bone. Under that you have first bump here is your thyroid, second bump is cricoid, then you have your trachea. Right under your trachea you have your esophagus, it's kind of like a flat tube right there. Coming down you have this tissue here which is called thymus. Lungs. Your right and left side, anterior, medial, posterior lungs. Okay. Your heart here. This is your pericardium that used to surround your heart. Up on the top of the heart here you have your right atrium. Over on the other side you have your left atrium. When you pull your, your heart down you have that little fat piece right there. That's the approximate location of your aortic arch there. The tube entering the heart. Here's your precava. On the bottom here, the tube leaving it is your post cava. When you open up the heart, you have the thin wall on this side is your right ventricle. Thick wall on this side is your left ventricle. Through the middle is your interventricular septum. And you have a diaphragm. When you lift up your diaphragm, you have this falciform ligament that separates the two medial lobes of the liver. This would be your left medial lobe, left lateral lobe, right medial lobe. Lift that up. Both of these are your right lateral lobe. Number five here is your caudate lobe. Wedged right in the middle of your right medial lobe here is your gallbladder, right in there, right there. Now, you have here your the apron. This is your greater omentum. Attached to your greater omentum is a spleen. Your greater omentum is attached to the greater curvature of the stomach. Lesser omentum here is attached to the lesser curvature of the stomach. <clears throat> food enters here, exits here. Where your food enters, this is the closest area to the heart, so that's called a cardiac region. Fundus is the top curve. Body here, right before it exits, you have a pyloric region. Your stomach comes down and empties into this tube here called the duodenum. Right medial to the duodenum, you can see like a spongy looking tissue inside there, that's your pancreas. Duodenum comes down into all this, which is your jejunum. When you pull your jejunum apart, it's held together by mesentery. You're going to follow your large intestine all the way up till you can find the end here. This tube coming into your large intestine here is your ileum. The very end of your large intestine is your cecum, and they're connected by an ileocecal valve. Now you have your question marks, the large intestine here. Ascending colon here, transverse, descending. When you pick up your descending colon, this is held down by your mesentery, I'm sorry, mesocolon. The, lar the large intestines held down by the mesocolon. Bladder, pull your bladder back. You can see these little ureters here, which you can take that ureter, follow it all the way up, and you see your kidney. Right underneath here you have your uterus here, right underneath the bladder. Tubes coming up here from the uterus is your uterine horns. Little pine nut looking thing right there is your ovary. And the tissue covering that ovary here is fallopian tube. You have your sciatic nerve. Branches off into two pieces. Upper piece here is your peroneal branch. Lower branch here is your tibial branch. And back here you have your um, Achilles tendon. That's it.
Now see how my intestines look a lot different than yours? Mm -hmm. And actually that um, ileocecal valve and the cecum is going to be a little more difficult to find. Now the, the problem with this